Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2019. So, Tiger's back, golf is back. I did predict he would win his fifth green jacket at the Masters this year. So let's go and pay homage to the man. I'm going to try and recreate his back nine here at the Augusta National. A fantastic back nine. I've got all the settings to perfectly how they were. I've got the, the fairways moderate, the green soft and it is raining and I've managed to put my tee shot far right on the 10th hole here like Tiger did and he had to chip out here but why, what a fantastic Masters it was. Like I say I'm going to try and recreate his final nine holes. Now Tiger did chip out here but I don't think that the chip shot is going to be long enough for these clubs. No seven iron so I'm going to have to pitch out. I have dropped down to the pro clubs guys for the main reason being it's more accurate with the distance Tiger was driving and um, he wasn't driving the 300 plus yards that the, the master clubs would be um, allowing me to do so but I'm going to try and recreate or as close to every shot that he did on the final back nine so sit down and enjoy that let's see if we can recreate it so he pitched out he left himself probably with about a 30 foot putt guys because his approach shot went right to the back of the green so let's see if I can recreate that I'm, I'm deliberately going long here and it should leave me a nasty downhill putt and that's about near enough bang on about where Tiger was so we're just going to get a close virtual reality look at how things were for Tiger so as you can see it's left me a nasty downhill putt Tiger just came up short with this one. Hopefully that should turn and just come up a bit short. Played that really well actually. And hopefully I can convert the bogey that Tiger did get here. I mean, honestly guys, I'm still buzzing from the Masters. Hopefully some of you managed to jump on my tip that I did see in the first round. And there we go, we do get a five on hole number 10. Let's move on to hole number 11, which is a long par four. This is going to be a tougher one because he really, he really ended up far right here, but he did have an opening. So this is, this is about where he landed and he did have a gap. So I'm going to try and fade this. This is going to be a tough sh shot to, to execute. So you can see we've really applied a lot of fade here. And I'm looking to find that opening. Oh, that looks about perfect if it makes it over this tree. Yes, I'll tell you what, guys. We've landed about in the almost perfect location for a draw shot. No. Now, the fairway should allow me to, to play the draw here because the contours of the fairway does slope towards the green and the pin. And Tiger managed to make it on here and set up a birdie opportunity. So we're just trying to draw this in between the trees. It's a tougher shot than what it looks. I need a clean strike here. We've gotten that. That should really turn left for me and hopefully kick on to the green. So that is tracking really well, guys. It looks like we are going to set up a birdie putt fairly similar to what Tiger had. This is going to be a slightly uphill putt, really swinging from the right to the left here. And it was one that Tiger just missed. It's going to be a tough one. Green's 166. Like I say, I've tried to get the conditions as perfect as possible to what the final round was. The rain did come on the back nine. And that is a fantastic effort. And it should go and set me up for the part. So we do have a little 12-inch putt here. And so far, we've managed to achieve shot by shot almost of Tiger's back nine, which is going to be historic, guys. People are going to be saying for years to come, where were you the day Tiger Woods won his fifth green jacket? And I know exactly where I was. I was there watching every single second of it. So let's move on to hole number 12, Golden Bell. And this is where everything changed. This is the moment Tiger... I think find a new belief because he was kind of struggling up until this point. Molinari was like a machine and this is where it changed. Molinari went into the water. Tiger came over the top of the bunker and just kind of played a safety shot and it came down to course management. He knew that if he landed in this area here, he was going to set himself up a straightforward two putt. 
So let's see if I can recreate the, the shot over the top of the bunker. Just take him an 8 iron. It's a good strike. It should land down softly for me. I think I've actually just landed slightly closer to the, the flag than what Tiger was. He was probably another good 8-10 feet back to where I was. So as you can see, we're going to have a swing in 23 foot putt. Slightly uphill from left to right. Like I say, Tiger was slightly closer, um, further away from the, the pin than what I am. I am slightly closer. And he did go on to, to miss this birdie opportunity, but he did leave himself a one to two foot tap in putt for the par. So let's see if we can achieve that. That should really start to swing and just hopefully swing past the hole, which it has done. And we are going to have that simple tap in part. And his back nine. At this point, he was still one over for the back night. So, let's move on to hole number 13. And this is where Tiger really started to pick things up. He just managed to hold the right-hand side of the fairway here, if I do recall. So, I've just applied a touch of draw here. Fairway should slope to the, the left also. That's a beautiful view there. Beautiful camera angle. Fantastic swing. And we've played that really well. I think Tiger was slightly more to the right. It's going to be hard, guys, to get every shot exactly to where he was. And like I say, I could be wrong with a few of the shots. But this is just going for memory. And like I say, I was glued to that. I really was. I was glued to my TV, guys. Twitting out as the action happened as well. So just setting up an eagle opportunity here. Tiger did go on to pick up birdie here, and that's another solid strike. This should die going up the slope, but it should leave me a good angle for an eagle opportunity, and that pull pat slightly. It's going to break from left to right. There we go. Well done. So Tiger did miss his eagle pat. I think he left it just a little bit short. I'm just making sure that these putts do not drop. It should slide past the right-hand side, which it has done. All right, nice little two-foot putt. So a very similar putt to what Tiger had for the birdie, and this started the move up the leaderboard. And he's now level par through the back nine, going on to hole number 14. So Tiger on the tee here, hole 14. He did play his tee shot here really, really well. And that is a beautiful swing, beautiful strike. This should kick all the way down to the right-hand side. And it should set me up for a nice approach shot into a very accessible pin location here. Tiger did just come up short here, so I'm kind of trying to come up short here, guys. I mean, it's so hard to get the ball to land exactly where Tiger is, but we are on a severe slope right. The green is going to slope to the right also. I'd like to think that this should struggle to get up the, the uphill green. And just leave me about a 15 foot putt, which I think Tiger exactly had about a 15 foot putt for birdie. That's probably looking about 18 to 20 feet I've left that, but we're close enough. 18 feet bang on. Slightly downhill this putt, and it's really going to swing from the left to the right. And it's just going to slide by the right hand side once again. And so far, we have managed to really do a good job of recreating Tiger's back nine virtually here. Nice so, he went on to pick up the par, which we have done there. And he's still level par through the back nine with the par five. 15th coming up. By this time, Molinari had stabilized and he was still in the hunt. But this is where Tiger really upped his game. 
He just kind of faded a shot down the right hand side of the fairway here. So I'm just going to tie, apply a touch of fade here. I don't, the problem I've got here is I think I'm going to struggle to reach this in two with a decent club. I'm probably going to have, I'm going to be long here because with the pro clubs, I think I'm, my only option is going to be a two wood here. I think my two iron's not going to reach, but we will have a look. It is downhill. Two wood's going to get me there, but it's going to be long. So we are going to loft this up, guys. I am going to be long. Tiger did hold the green here for an eagle putt. I'm going to have to be um, creative here because I would like to think this is going to be long. Probably going to leave me a nasty flop shot, which isn't ideal. This is one of the worst scenarios you can be on this hole here as long because the green slopes down towards the drink. So I'm going to have to be careful with this flop shot. So I'm going to have to loft this up a good bit. Just see if we can get this bite in before it starts to decline down the slope and hopefully set up a birdie opportunity. That should hopefully sit, 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 sit. Oh, we've played that really, really well there, guys. Obviously, it's not shot by shot for Tiger. He was on the dance floor for an eagle putt, which he missed. But he did go on to pick up the birdie. And we are now one under through the back nine now. Exact same as what Tiger was. With hole 16 coming up, par three. I think he played an eight iron here. It's probably going to be a seven iron here, I would like to think. For me, depending on the wind. But this really is a beautiful hole. He used the contours off the green. I don't think the way this green is set up will get me as close as how he did. So I may have to use the, the back slope of the green here. But it's still going to be a similar outcome. I'm just going to use the slope of the green. Tiger went kind of to the right and allowed the ball to slope down. I'm going to just kind of go a different way, but still use the contour of the green. I'm going to try and go long at a flag here. And the ball should spin back off the slope and work its way towards the pin. I think I played this perfectly. This should set up about a three to four foot putt if it comes back. I thought it was going to get stuck up the slope there for one second. There we go. We've played that beautifully and hopefully we can convert the birdie exactly like Tiger did and move to two under for the back night. And I think it was at this moment that Tiger knew and we all knew what was a way to happen, guys. All what he really had to do was go par, par at the 18th and we knew he was going to win this thing. So he steps on to hole number 17, full of confidence, probably getting the feels again. He's been here so many times. Molinari, I think at this time, was a bit disillusioned, to be honest. He, he kind of looked a broken man. He was still there, still focused. But you could see he was hurt. Tiger had really punished him. And he goes on and plays a fantastic tee shot right down the centre of this fairway. Boom, just like that. And it's set up an ideal location to go and attack this pin. Sweet. So we have about 165 yards. Seven iron, I think it's a bit bang on to, to what Tiger had to play, if I, if I do recall here. I've got 166 yards up 9 feet, next to no wind. I'm just going to allow this to come off the slope. I think Tiger was about 10 to 12 feet away from the, the pin, if I do recall. My memory might be not 100% right, guys. I am doing this from memory. I think I've played too good a shot here, guys. I think that's going to set up an easy birdie opportunity by the leaks of things it has done. So... There's no way I'm deliberately missing this 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 birdie putt here, guys, after a shot like this. I am just going to place this in. We are one shot ahead of what Tiger achieved, though. But uh, that was just such a good golfing shot. So Tiger was still two under at this point. We're three under. Tiger was two. I did say I was going to try and recreate it. So now we know he can afford a bogey at this point. He's got a two-shot lead coming down the 18th. So Tiger's tee shot kind of just was went up the right-hand side of the fairway, if I do recall. Because his, his second shot, which I kind of, 
I think it took everyone by surprise his option what he did for the second shot, which I'll try and recreate. I know he hit wasn't a driver. I'm not sure if it was a five wood or a three wood that he hit off the tee here, but we'll go with a two wood because I think it would be similar distance with the pro clubs here. I don't think that's going as far right. I tried to keep this slightly up. That might just kick to the left, actually, yet. So I'm not I'm not in the exact location Tiger was. Tiger was more over to the right here because the reason it turns out the shot he had to play was due to the overhanging branches. So everyone was like, why? Why has he done this? So once again, course management. So he did kind of lay up here. We're going to look at the 7 iron. I think that's going to be ideal. And we're just going to apply a touch of fade here because he did have to kind of fade this round. You can clearly see the overhanging tree branches here. Whether or not that would be an issue in this game. But certainly in real life. He was more tucked over at the right-hand side. And he just came over the top of that trees there. And I think we've landed this in an almost perfect location to where Tiger was. And everyone was kind of taken surprise at even the commentators. So we're going to have a flop shot, very similar to Tiger, he kind of pitched it. But what we're going to do is recreate the shot he did, let it hit this slope and filter down towards the hole. Once again, try to use the, the green exactly like Tiger did. I should have the right club in my hand to achieve this. Yeah, that's a great execution. This should work its way down towards the pin. And it's going to be a fairly similar putt to what Tiger had for his par and we were all pleading for this to go in. It's a 23 foot putt down 4 inches and this one is going to swing to the left. Just got to take care I don't hold this. No, we're going to be fine with that. That's just going to slide short of the hole and it's near enough identical what Tiger did and then at this moment here guys we all knew he even knew that as soon as he dropped this putt, he was the winner of the 2019 Masters. Pity we didn't have the fist pump. He was absolutely buzzing. I've never seen him celebrate like that before. But there you go, guys. I do hope you enjoyed that. It was just homage to the main man, Tiger. We tried to recreate his very famous back nine. That is it for today. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.